Welcome to Techno English. And in this video, we will talk about the voltage problems, the most common voltage problem in any of the power system, which are SAG and the swell. So we will discuss what is SAG and we will discuss what is swell. So these are the voltage problem means there will be some difference or there will be some change in the voltages and we call those one of the cases we call the, the, those as the voltage sag and, uh, and this for the second case we call this as a voltage swell. So let's define what is voltage first. The voltage is, is an electromotive force or a potential difference which is expressed in the voltages or expressed in volts as a unit for the voltages is volts. So how we actually explain what is voltages so if you recall your secondary school concepts of the voltages we referred voltages as work done in bringing unit charge from point of infinity from this point for instance to this to a specific point and an or a lower point so for instance i have high number of electrons accumulated at this point so i want to move those electrons from this point to this point where i have no electron for instance i have at least number of electrons compared to the higher region or the uh, this point so i want to move these electrons from this point to this point so in order to move those electrons i need a force so the the work which uh, the or the work i will done to bring those unit charges unit charges means the electrons from this point to this point is voltage so importance of the voltage i just discussed with you the, another importance of the voltage is to produce heating effect and the current flow is required the flow of electron i already discussed with you is current flow of electron is known as the current so in order to have flow of current to for instance illuminate your home for instance to run your motors or washing machines or all those appliances electrical appliances you need current and to have current in your system you need voltage that's why we have for instance in uh, in my part of uh, our country uh, or in my part of the world is to 30 volts and in case of for instance america or or in case of the europe we have like 120 volts uh, rms in voltage values so what is the voltage sag? The voltage sag is sudden dip in my voltages or in my nominal voltages. For instance, uh, this uh, these are uh, this figure represents what is voltage sag. So for instance, my nominal voltage is for instance we can call it V norm. So these are my nominal voltages. So at at some time t, for instance t is equal to zero. At this time, my volt my voltages face sudden dip or drop in the amplitude of the voltage which is between 0.1 to 0.9 or from 10 percent to 90 percent so my system voltages faces a dip uh, in its amplitude which is from from 0.10 to 0.90 and in this in this figure i have 50 percent drop in my voltage from nominal value so this is a voltage sag so my voltage when my voltage values uh, decreases so it's a voltage sag so that's and this occurs for for at least time for instance uh, for for instance the one half cycle to one minute or in some cases from 0.5 cycles to few seconds and if it exceeds from a few seconds then we call this a sustained sag so this is a sag so voltage sag is also known as voltage dip or voltage drop so this is a voltage drop and this is the most common issue in the voltage problems so what causes a voltage problem so voltage cause sag uh, voltage sag cause number one short circuit in our systems or overloading of the system for instance a heavy load just suddenly turned on for instance and the starting of heavy electric motors you have a uh, you might have feel uh, or uh, you might have noticed uh, the sudden jerk in our uh, voltage system voltages when we turn on for instance electric iron or we turn on heavy loads in our systems so this is the output uh, from a scope of a voltage of the main my, uh, my simulating model i will explain the simulating model with you in my next video so uh, when my nominal voltage was for instance uh, 100 volts and after uh, time t is equal to 0 or time t is equal to 0 0.2 my system faces a uh, dip in my uh, voltage which is roughly 0.3 percent or the 30 percent so this is my drop in my system and after uh, t is 0 0.4 my voltage is gets back to the nominal value so this is voltage sag so what is swell what is swell is just 
completely opposite to the voltage sag. Voltage sag was the drop in the nominal voltage values, while the voltage swell is momentary increase in the voltage values, means a uh, swell of like explosion of the uh, values. And it's the same like the voltage sag, it happens or is move or is duration is from few cycles to few seconds and for instance less than a minute and it exceeds uh, the values from the nominal values for instance my initial values were was 100 percent like and then after some time my values increases or uh, crosses this value beyond the 100 percent so my system exceeds the voltage limit so and this can be from 10% to 90% in RMS values in cases of per unit from 0.1% to 0.9%. So this is what is say. If my for instance voltage say voltage say exceeds the 0.1%, for instance my voltage drops below to the 10 value, it means from 100 volts is dropped to the 9 volts as the under voltage condition. And the voltage sag is between 10 to 90. And the same is the voltage sag from 10 to 90. But then it expands all its uh, uh, swell the voltages. So what causes the voltage swell? Just some like the opposite of the voltage sag. Voltage swell can causes when a heavy load turns off in a power system. So that causes the voltage swell in our system. For instance, heavy furnace just, just suddenly turn off because of some issue. So that's, that will cause a voltage swell in our system. And for instance, this example. Uh, for anti effect in our power transmission line is you can call it just for your understanding is in is a voltage swell which is actually not a voltage swell because that's not for a moment for not for a moment just to understand it as there's there's some swell of the voltage you need to 30 volts for instance and you receive for for instance 250 volts so that's for your understanding so there is an urgent need to mitigate our voltage levels Whenever the voltage sag happens or voltage swell, and majority of time we uh, we face voltage we face voltage sag issues in our power systems. So whenever we face these issue voltage problems, we need to mitigate that problem immediately. Why we need to mitigate that problem immediately? Because our system operates on a specific voltage values or specific voltage band. For instance, my laptop charger operates on 230 volts with plus minus five percent means it can ex exceed the values from 230 to 5% uh, of that value means the roughly 23 is like 11.5 means I can exceed the value from 241.5 to, uh, to the lower values up to the 219.5 for instance the, that's the nominal operational voltages for my volt for my laptop charger same is the case for for my other de electrical devices in my home and for instance in my office that's why we have to mitigate this because in case of voltage sag, my voltage drops uh, below to the value of for, for, from that voltage band which is allowed for the nominal operation or for the uh, safe operation of the system. That's why we have to mitigate that problem as well. So same is the case for the voltage well. So we have to restore the voltages to their nominal or rated voltages. So we have different uh, techniques to restore my, to restore my voltages. One of the technique is dynamic voltage restorer, and another problem, uh, and another technique is DSTATCOM. For instance, these are the FACT devices, flexible like AC transmission systems. So uh, I will use uh, DVR, which is dynamic voltage restorer, and it's a method of overcoming voltage sags and swells that occur in electrical power distribution system. And there are a problem because spikes consume power seconds. Uh, power and sag reduces efficiency of some devices so uh, dbr is always connected in series through a transformer so once again the importance of the voltage mitigation is devices operate at their rated voltages and to work efficiently we must provide them with a rated voltage and same as the case for the power quality issues so this is my simulating model. Uh, I will explain the simulating model in my next video in which I will open my simulating model. This is just a screenshot of my simulating model. I have actually covered this part of my model just to uh, uh, keep myself safe from any copyright. So this is my three-phase programmable voltage source which serves as a main grid. I am actually measuring its voltages all the time and this, uh, and this system is connected through 
injecting transformer or uh, series transformer which and this is my DVR and this is my load so this system is supplying voltages or the current to this system and in case of voltage sag as well I have connected this system and this is DV through uh, this is my DVR and DVR is connected through a, uh, uh, through injecting transformer to this main system and in case of any sag as well this DV, DVR will com compensate those or mitigate those voltages so uh, DVR is actually made up of different components one of the components is the DC source, the second is uh, through which we convert it from DC to AC, the third is the voltage source convert, these are the voltage source converters and we have uh, a safe length of, I will explain this in the next part of, it's better for me to explain these in uh, simulation model in my simulations and in, in, in which I will perform my simulations but in this so let's discuss. I have just opened my three phase programming voltage source because I want to have a voltage sag as well in the systems. So what I did is I just changed the time variation from none to amplitude and then I changed the type of variation to a step and then I uh, chose here that positive 0.3 means the sag or the, sorry the swell of up to 30 percent in my system or 0.3 meter in the in the per units. So same as the case for in case of sag i just uh, change it from positive to negative then positive means the sag, uh, positive means as well and then negative means the uh, sag so i can change this value from 0.3 to 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 i can change it from 0.1 to 0 0.9 any value between 0 0.1 to 0 0.9 and that's the sag if i go beyond 0 0.1 there will be other voltages so this is my output of my voltage well so initially my system at 0.1 seconds i face a swell in my system so my voltage from one per unit raises raised to the 1.25 so my dvr operated at that specific time and it provided me uh, with a reactive uh, it, it actually asked for the reactive power it actually absorbed that reactive power to compensate this extra voltages in my system so at 0.1 second it operated and at 0.2 seconds at which my swell uh, actually ended so it operated for the one second and for the one second so that was my initial state when i don't have a dvr so dvr performed at a specific time so my uh, voltage restored back to the nominal values so i have some ch chattering effect at this point we will discuss what's the chattering effect in the next video same as the case for the voltage sag so my voltage sags actually initially i face voltage sag at one uh, zero point one seconds so same as the case for the voltage sag at this point my dbr operated dynamic voltage regulator operated it provided me with extra reactive power to compensate those voltages so i compensated my voltages at 0.1 seconds up to the 0.2 second and for the duration of the voltage sag that lost it so that's how i ended my voltage sag in my system so, so that's how i can end my voltage sag so that's how we can end our voltage sag as well through dbr in our system but the control strategy I use in my system, I can use for instance for the DVR to operate specifically at that time when I faced uh, sag or swell. So that can be that can vary up to your choice. Means you can uh, uh, perform at PI for PID as well as fuzzy as well as sliding mode, super testing sliding mode, for instance DQ0. So we uh, do have multiple techniques for the control strategies. So the sign of this video. In this video, I explain you what is voltage and importance of voltages, what is the voltage problems, and what is the voltage sag, and what is the voltage swell, what are the causes of these two, and how we mitigate these issues, and what's the importance of the mitigation, and how I mitigated those with the TBR. In my next video, I will discuss and my simulating model in proper in proper through proper simulation supported by simulation, and I will show you how I will change my sag as well in my system and how can I compensate those voltages. Thank you.